So now we are going to the next phase, which is uh, we went to room one and two, three, and now room four. Uh, both of the rooms because uh, they they uh, got to be only one room. So we have here Mr. Danelon, uh, we have here Rafael Patron, we have here Mikkel, and uh, also Roberto. So the virtual floor is yours. Let me know what you need. Um, Hobby, can you put me as an organizer to share the screen? Yes, definitely. You have it, Mr. Donelon. Thank you very much. I will just... Um, yes, one. Okay. Can you see the project proposal here? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, um, I will just, uh, we did a small presentation about the IoT in selective collection. The no, no, is a little small. I think it's like the uh, screen. Okay, just yeah. one second. Screen issue. I will change the... Try to see if you can put in the bigger one. I, I will put it. Just one second. That's it. Okay. Wonderful. Now it works. Yeah, no, it will be, it needs to be like this. So, um, uh, I did not know about this project until two days before, like the, at the start of the conference. But we are working in the Internet of Things in selective collection. And to contextualize a little bit more, uh, I would like to uh, Miko to to introduce the project, if you could. Miko, can you hear us? Can Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Um, yeah. So the project uh, has been going for the past uh, semester, and it has been started out as a project with actually SAU, but we later <laughs> converted over to a company called Green. Um, they handle uh, glass waste and containers and the project was to make a network of sensors and to know when the containers are full or empty and with this kind of data we can both do some optimization on the routes that they uh, they take to reduce the co2 emissions um, and their working uh, load as well um, also they can optimize how their containers are placed around the city of Brasilia um, and this data can in general give a lot uh, to the company yeah. and that's actually basically the project yeah yeah uh, as we got on the the last reports the, in the previous projects um, as Miko said um, they created the the gateway in the sensor node uh, the people from Denmark and in Brazil, it was developed like the, the dashboard for the Green Ambiento to to see uh, each container, if each, each container is full and other key performance indicators. So we had some insights. And for production engineering, we were thinking about the project system disciplines, the PSP 1, 3, 6 and 8. And for the PSP1, we would work more in data science to create or recreate some of the key performance indicators for the dashboard to attend better the to green ambiental. For PSP3, it would be related to logistics to improve the, the roads, road optimization, and to place new containers uh, around the city. In PSP6, it's project engineering. It would be developed uh, the hard case uh, product for the sensors, so they would improve uh, this case in here. And in PSP8, uh, we saw that there was a, a lack of communication between the development teams, so it would be more the management part than the integration and communication between the development teams. In electronics and IT, 
they would improve sensor, uh, which optimizes the power consumption to reduce the energy consumption, would do the sensor node tests, improve the server, um, do a comparison between the AnyBiote and LoRa, that's the communication protocols. Nowadays, as I understood, they are using the LoRa and to work on cybersecurity also. And in computer science, uh, there is the contact that could improve the backend and network. I, I think it's from Denmark. And we would uh, need some, some guys maybe from Tunisia to develop the mobile app and maybe a web app. And the key factors that we saw in our insight for the success of this project would be the hard skill requirements, the communication between the teams, the communication with the stakeholder, uh, the green ambiental, and to implement the system. Nowadays, we cannot implement the system due to, to the pandemic, but we, we can uh, validate the system and do some tests. And in the project proposal, we, we did the problem statement. It would be to develop an IoT system with the purpose of improving the selective collection of glass in Brazilian context and to provide information to optimize the vehicle roads, reduce fuel consumption, and aid the decision-making process. The SDGs that we worked on would be the nine industry innovation and infrastructure with more detailed in this part, the 11 sustainable cities and communities, 11.6, and in 12 would be the responsible consumption and production. And the hard skills that would be required in the project, we listed as these programming languages, uh, Python, MicroPython, JavaScript, and the others, uh, the road optimization algorithms for the logistics area, for the dashboard creation, the use of Data Studio and maybe the programming language R, uh, network protocols and structures, and general knowledge of electronic components. And to summarize, to, to aggregate all these um, ideas, we, we did an image we call the SDG tetrahedron that would um, explain a little bit better. So um, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Can you still see the page in here? The okay, text is so, a little small. Yeah, yeah text, okay. I, will, I will be um, part so by part. Just... Yeah, perfect. Um, we, we just summarize everything that we said in here. So there's three SDGs, the number nine in here, number 11, and number 12, responsible consumption and production. Um, these would be the targets for the each SDG in here, 11.6 in here, and 12.4, and 0.8. In Brazil, uh, the disciplines that would work on the project would be PSP 1, 3, 6, and 8 for dashboard KPIs, road optimization, product development, and project management. Uh, in Denmark, they would uh, improve the sens sensor improvement, sensor node test, server improvement, cybersecurity, and the communication protocols. And we would, uh, would like to invite some Tunisian guys for the mobile app and the web app to, well, to develop the, this project, the Internet of Things and Selective Collection. And that's it. If you have any questions, Miko or no, no, no. Apa, if you want to complement something that I, I forgot to say. Uh, I just wanted to I add mean, one thing. Ah, you can say, Miko. Yeah. Um, so for the sensor node improvements, uh, we have a working prototype, but uh, of course it has to be made into a final product, and that includes making uh, a completely custom PCB and probably choosing another controller and, and, and so on. So there's still still some way to uh, to make the sensors work. But the first prototype will be tested out in Brasilia sometime soon when we the pandemic is hopefully over. Yeah. I just wanted to add that uh, there are many areas, even though like production engineering and there's people from like from Denmark that are working more on the technical part of things. Uh, there's a little 
fire rays sometimes, but there are many areas that we can collaborate more closely. For example, the placement of the gateways that these people need to have the network working. We need is a similar problem as the placement of the containers. Yeah. So like we can exchange a lot of knowledge there and solutions on like how to better place uh, stuff in general. So like the containers and the gateways. And in the same spirit, we can work uh, closely to develop the final product in a sense. So make it better in the case for the sensors and the sensors module. So people that they will be working with uh, product engineering, they can work closer with the Danish team. So we can uh, iterate this design and make more like easy to change the batteries or more accessible, more resilient to, to humidity and other things. So I think one key important thing for this next phase of the project is the greater integration between the teams. Yeah, Brazil and Denmark, and of course the inclusion of the of the Tunisian team. So that was the compliment. That's really good. That's really good. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, I mean, I don't have <laughs> uh, for you. I already said everything that I had to say. Uh, it is really good the holistic approach that you brought uh, but and, and I will give like the virtual floor to other people that want to to say like some words and ask some questions so anyone here uh, have uh, has any questions uh, to the team Uh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, I think Professor Joe Mel is, is not is not like uh, is not saying anything because he's really <laughs> Professor. I need I, I I don't need you to now now it's your turn, Professor. I know you wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's nice when I see some some bodies saying something about tetrahedron. So it's it's nice to see it. <laughs> Me and uh, Mateus were working in a project uh, saying that we are talking about this tetrahedron. So it's really nice to see it in another context. Thank you for using it. Well, Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, yeah so uh, any, any other comments or questions to the team? Yeah, uh, yeah. His, uh, their project uh, is uh, like uh, like very advanced. That's uh, really good because they have the network built by Mikkel, Roberto, and uh, the Danish team. And now the, the the next challenges are really well organized. So I think it's all very clear, and we can uh, we have opportunities for involvement of uh, the Brazilian team, the Danish team, and Tunisian team. And like uh, yeah, in, in in a lot of battlefronts to the to the production engineering team. So thank you very much, guys. It was like a, a really really good result uh, to see very like uh, uh, holistic, which is amazing uh, for proposing new projects. So thank you very much. Thank you, Harvey. I will stop sharing. Thank you, Matos. Thank you. I right, thank you.